Jair Bolsonaro takes office as Brazil's new president. What can we expect ahead for Latin America's biggest economy? What about foreign policy? Hello, I'm Arun Naidu and this is The Heat. Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro will lead a country barely out of recession and still hoping for political stability after years of crisis and polarization. The new president, elected in an anti-establishment campaign, will now need to build consensus and prove he can rally political support for his agenda. CGTN's Paulo Cabral reports on Bolsonaro's challenges and priorities. Winning the presidential election on an anti-establishment campaign backed by only two small parties was a big victory for Jair Bolsonaro, but even bigger challenges are ahead. Brazilians have strong opinions on what needs attention. The priorities are fixing education and the public health system and also stopping crime. The most important thing is fighting corruption, but I don't think that's something he will do. He was from one of Brazil's most corrupt parties. His main challenge? I think it will be dealing with the opposition of the Workers' Party supporters. There are many of them against him, and there are important reforms to be made in the country. Brazil has no shortage of problems, and big ones dominate the list. Violence and organized crime, deficient public health care and education, unemployment. But to solve these issues, the new government must tackle the most immediate need, getting the country's battered economy up and running again. We have three problems. One is growth, that we need to make growth to the Brazilian population, have a relief. And that's why Brazilian population voted for Bolsonaro, because they want a relief on unemployment. So you have a problem in capital formation or investment in Brazil. You need to boost the investment in Brazil. It's necessary as soon as possible. And third, you have the, this commercial war against, uh, with the United States and China that is shaping, reshaping the world as we know it. I hope the best for the president, but it's going to be a very tough agenda for the next year. To get his economic agenda going, Bolsonaro will need to implement bitter measures, like pension system reform. Getting this controversial reform approved will be a test to the new government's capacity to negotiate with a very fragmented Congress, representing 30 parties. There are too many parties, so we have a large variety of parties that have to be brought somehow to the negotiation table. But Jair Bolsonaro ran his campaign on an anti-establishment platform, attacking traditional politics and traditional parties. So the question now is, will he be able to become the leader of these parties to govern the country? Despite Bolsonaro's clear electoral victory, the country remains deeply polarized. Many of the new president's votes came from people rejecting the Workers' Party more than they enthusiastically supported the former captain's platform. Pacifying the country seems an essential step to governing, and it's unclear whether that can be done. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.